Hey, hey, what is going on? This is Mortal Glitch, and welcome to Purehead Arcade. I'm going to go ahead and put the headset on so you can hear me a little bit better. Alright, so I was going to do a little quick review of this game. I actually picked it up a little while back. There's been several updates to it since, but um, me and my girl, we were just looking for more of like a... I guess you would call it a set of mini games and we found this one and it's actually really really well done as you can see it does have a multiplayer option you can actually do a private multiplayer and you can get other people who have the game I did not mean to do that okay going back out here just gonna do start Okay, so you can actually set up multiplayer, and if you have somebody else who has the game, they can sign in and join you. And it's just a little small arcade. It's all the games work that you can see. All right. Um, yeah, let's just jump in. All right, so as soon as you walk up, you have the basic controllers. You just put a coin in. All right, let's go for one of the cavemen back here. Oh, 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 oh. I haven't got to try the multiplayer aspect yet. I mean, me and my girl, we actually played this quite a bit. We took turns going back and forth, you know, seeing who could set a high score. Oh, that one was close. We actually have got a couple of the bears out of here. But yeah, whenever you uh, get stuff like from the claw machine, there's... Huh, where did it go? There used to be an area over here which was like a trophy wall where you could see all the stuff you'd collected. Huh. The update must have moved it. Well, this is where you can spend your tickets. Oh, <laughs> we were standing right next to the trophy wall. But yeah, see, we got a monkey, we got a bear. Over here, we actually got a little bouncy ball. As you can see, objects in the game are interactable. So you can play around with that, or like I was saying, if you had multiple people over, you could toss the ball back and forth, play little games. Uh, there's also a feature where you can do actual online radio stations and play music. Don't know why the ball got smacked over here. There's a little bowling simulation in it. I had a couple of problems with this. I don't know if it's because I'm not the greatest at bowling to begin with. start when you get zero. Alright. And screwed that one up too. I don't know if it's just because it's kind of awkward with the Vive controllers. Because I mean like Wii Bowling and actual bowling I'm decent but... I can't do anything in this one. Going for that high score. <laughs> there we go, overhand. We'll go granny as well. How do you mess up a granny shot? Trying to actually do that and not smack the wall over here, so. Ha 
<laughs> I actually did that for real once at a bowling alley. I got my thumb stuck in the ball because I was using way too small of way too small of one. And so when I I smack my kitchen shelf here. So yeah, when I went to actually throw the ball at the bowling alley, it got kind of stuck on my thumb and went straight up in the air, came down and just cracked the floor. Oh, look at that strike. Gotta wait till the end when I'm distracted and actually talking to actually do something decent. And then you can collect your tickets. Most of the games give tickets except the little combi catcher thing. <laughs> Number 666, Mortal Glitch. Seems appropriate. But yeah, there's global scores, there's local scores. My girl has completely stomped me at this game. Yeah, I'm Jan here. But yeah, there's a lot you can do. There's other little games like the classic basketball shoot where the rim will move back and forth and you just throw as many basketballs as you can in. That one's pretty fun. There's the scarab toss where you're just throwing the little bitty balls, either trying to get them into the pot in the back or the different goals throughout. Pretty standard arcade game. There's this one. This one sort of reminds me of the concepts from Beer Pong. You gotta bounce it off the target and land it into one of the squares. And if you can actually do like a tic-tac-toe, like a row cross, diagonal, you get extra points. Oh goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, there we go. 30 points. Not good. Not good at all. Especially when the top is 2,580. And my girls beat me at that one, too. And my high score was 120 at one point because I stacked a bunch of combos. This is your basic... Well, they call it Dino Whack, but it's basically Whack-A-Mole. Where you gotta pop the little guys as they come out, and then you don't hit the caveman. Rapid Fire. I actually don't remember too much about this one. I think it's, you try to throw it in the rings that light up. Or maybe it's just tossing as quick as you can. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, if you want to win prizes, don't take me to an arcade. I have fun, but I'm not good at any of the games. some reason that ball got stuck to that controller. That one shouldn't have counted, neither should that, or that. Oh. Again, I got stomped. Ticket. Oh, extra ticket. 
But yeah, like I'd mentioned earlier, there's a little prize counter. I'd already bought a couple of things. So, like, I can go back and get my little styrofoam airplane here. Oh, yeah, I also got the boomerang. Which I just lost. But there's also drones. That's actually what we're saving up for next. Oh, and there's a little boxing game. So you put on both the gloves, and as the things pop up, punch those back in. Again, pretty standard arcade game. This one... I don't even know how to describe it. I mean, yeah, I guess I could show you. This one's actually quite tiring. Yeah, you gotta hit as many that are lit up as you can without hitting any red or you lose your combo like that. So yeah, this one's slightly chaotic. Oh, I actually set a decent score. Not as high as my previous, but still pretty decent. Get your normal ski ball game. Got a little gallery shooter here. One thing I like that they did with this one is as you can see when the bullet hits it actually has a little ricochet so the bullet actually has physics and if you bounce it off of something it can actually hit other things oh I forgot about the balloon up there I uh, didn't do too great that round and you don't have to catch the tickets, it just feels more fun that way, so. If you don't grab the tickets, they automatically get ported to you after they fall a certain distance. This is another one of my favorites. Okay, you get the little, the super kawaii penguins here. And it's like shuffleboard. And they'll even collide with one another and bounce, like bounce each other further down. Not bad, not bad. 10,940, what? Dr. Anal. That, that's lovely. But yeah, I mean, there's more games. There's also the Comet Drop, which that's similar to some of the... I've seen it in some of the arcades that have more like gambling and bigger prizes and stuff. So you have the tube that drops the bouncy ball and you try to get 
either land it in any of the points or you get it in the yellow tubes that you see. But the yellow tubes, since they're raised, it's a little bit harder to get it in there. Ten points, not great. Or you can do like I was doing before. I'll just drop them all at once and see what happens. Are going to get anything? Got a 10, a 20. What's that one? Multi ball. Oh, we got one. Got another 20. And another 20. Not too shabby. Number 445. This one's kind of confusing, the honey rush. I mean, I get the goal of it. You have this that you're trying to get the ball in. You have the two levers here. And it sort of has... I don't know if you'd really... I don't know if you'd really call it tank controls. But yeah, you're raising the bar separately. And you sort of have to angle and maneuver the ball to get it to go into the one that's highlighted. And then as you complete that round, your bonus goes up, and then it keeps going from there. Zombie Shootout. This one is a new one that came with the Halloween update. The decorations aren't up anymore. They actually took those down just the day after it switches off of the holiday mode. This one I have not played yet. I actually promised my girl I wouldn't play it. I was going to let her play that one first, so... But as you can see, uh, pretty fun little game. Recommended pickup if you like little mini games or like the arcade feel. There's a lot of stuff that's interactable, so the whole multiplayer experience could be pretty fun. I haven't personally got to try it yet. They've added stuff as silly as going up to this. You can put in coins and I'll get a generic sugar rush here. Oh. That actually gave me kind of a weird sensation because I actually felt like I was pouring something up my nose when I did that. But yeah, that is Pure Head Arcade. They're adding little by little as they go. Um, I don't know if they're going to do any more holiday themed updates. I thought it was really cool that they added that and then the whole place was decorated and like pumpkins and lights and stuff. But yeah, if you ever get tired of it, you can walk around outside and you get a lovely little scenic view here. I think the water's really well done. But let's see which way we're facing here. All right, face back the proper way, get my tracking back. All right, and as always, guys, remember, whatever happens, happens. You just got to keep doing you. Thanks for watching.